Let's talk about uh, topping the golf uh, ball. In other words, the ball just runs along the ground, doesn't even get airborne. In other words, it doesn't fly. So you have seen the shots, it doesn't really work. So let's uh, see what the problem could be. Basically, there are two courses uh, responsible for the top shot. The first course is that um, your ball is placed too much to the left foot. So when you address the ball, you see your nose and the head is too much behind. You see it dropped here, the ball. So when I start hitting now, you see the club comes down here and then it comes up. All my weight is on the right side. You see I can lift my left foot and then you see it comes up here and the ball gets hit basically here with the leading edge. It looks like like this. You see you, you're not getting under the ball, you're coming up on it and you hit the ball with the sole or the leading edge. Other course is um, the ball is more or less in the right position. It's placed in the middle of your stance and your weight is also a little on the left side. Everything looks good, but when you come down onto the ball, your left wrist is collapsing. You see why it's collapsing? I get the club comes up here too quickly. It moves up too quickly and then I have the same situation. In other words, I don't get under the ball, I connect the ball here with the sole or with the leading edge. So then the ball just rolls along the ground. Right, um, so basically what can we do about it? The first um, problem was I'm too much behind the ball, so I just move my head, my nose before, in front of the ball, so my weight is left. That actually, and I keep it there, then I can pick up the club much earlier, and then I can chop down more into the ground. Then I hit a slight divot as well. You can see that, and this is now a great golf good. shot. You see, now I have my divot, which secured that I was hitting down into the ball and the ball got connected on the club face. You can still see the print here. So that is the first thing. And the other thing to cure the wrist, the wrist action, where I was in a good dress position already, then I just keep the wrist more firm, more moving towards the target and trying to keep the club head low after hitting the ball. I keep it low. In other words, I move the arms forward. I just do the same action with the, with the ball. You see? My hands are in front and that's once again a very good golf shot. And I also get this descending action. Once again I have this divot here with the action down on it, you know. I lean on the left side now and just put my, my foot on the right um, toe and just hack down. Watch this. Oh, look at this. Look where my club is finishing, right now, very low. So it's right down into the ground. That's what we want, and that's what you should do to get the ball up into the air. Rather hit down. Thank you. And I hope uh, this uh, information will cure your topping action to the good that the ball can fly up into the air onto the green. and. Uh, we hope uh, to see you very soon for more information 
on other good, good uh, shots uh, on the Dr. Golf Pro channel. Thank you.